Praise the Lord. Welcome back, saints and seekers of the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Got a little bit of a cough this morning, so excuse my voice. Welcome back. I pray you have a good day in the Lord today. We are reading the book of Revelation. We are to chapter 7. So this is where that 144,000 gets sealed. And um, that is of the tribes of Israel, the people that are sealed to be protected when um, this seventh seal comes around here. And it gets very, very scary in the earth. Chapter 7, Revelation. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth. So what things? We read through the six seals, all the things happening, the uh, different horses riding that represent uh, deception and uh, the economy collapsing, uh, famine, destruction, wars, uh, death to the fourth of uh, the world. And uh, now we are following those things with this reading. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Aser were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephilim were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manassas were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zabulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. And after this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen. Blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And if you just happen to be a new convert listening to this, Verse 12 is a good uh, thing to mark, to, to learn how to pray and give praises to the Lord. If this is what that multitude is saying before God in heaven, well, it's what he likes um, having said to him to show him honor so we can enter his courts with praises and thanksgiving and we can say these things. We don't want to pray in vain, just repeating uh, mindless words. But there are uh, praise words that we do say over and over to the Lord. 
because they are just the words of praise. So uh, you can learn these. Let's read 12 again, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. Praise God. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them, and shall lead them unto living fountains of waters. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Praise God. He knows you're getting weary down here, but you be strengthened in the Lord. We go before his throne and give him all that praise, and we receive his strength every day. Acknowledge him with all of your heart. Trust him with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. There are so many things happening in this world right now. I listened to Behold Israel last night. Um, the mirror was on at 2 a.m. there. You could see he was exhausted. But Israel is in such turmoil with civil unrest and uh, just a lot of things going on. You know, a little country the size of one of our small states in America with all these people coming against them and then unrest within themselves divided like like all nations are divided we have all of this uh, final battle of good and evil that we are witnessing with our eyes we are a part of we are here you're standing for God or you're standing for Satan and his ways and some people don't understand they're standing for Satan but if you are standing for things that go against what God has commanded in his word. If you're saying, well, things have changed. We don't go by all of that anymore. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And um, we are in a period of grace. But that doesn't do away with God's moral code and what he said is okay with him, what is blessed, and what he said is not okay with him. It is cursed. There is a line drawn in the sand. You've got to examine yourselves. Are you in the faith? Are you ready for the to stand before the King of Kings and let him judge your life? We should uh, cleanse ourselves. And as we read the Word of God, it washes us. It cleans us. It sanctifies us. I would be in the Word as much as I could be. I would make sure I have a physical copy of the body. Uh, everyone's depending too much on phones, and things can change very much. Um, you know, there's people already saying America's now a third world country. Well, how sad is that? We used to be a country that blessed third world countries. And now have we become one? Well, I'm just speaking for America there, but every nation, look look at what you were and look at where you are now, all of the chaos. And God is not the author of confusion. So when we open a door to Satan, we open a door to much confusion. And uh, he is working overtime to see that our children are confused and taken, and we're in a battle. But this battle is the Lord's. We labor with him, but the Lord is the one 
that takes care of things and turns this thing around. And Father, we do pray for divine turnaround. We look forward to a new heaven and a new earth. We look forward to Jesus and being with him forever and ever. And we thank you for atoning for our sins, Lord Jesus. Thank you that we can be saved, that God is merciful and long-suffering, that he has warned and warned. We understand that we are at a time of judgment because people did not turn with all the warnings. And uh, we still pray for mercy, Father. We pray for salvations. We pray for salvations of the lost. Please keep your hand on our families. We pray for angels surrounding us in protection. We pray for warrior angels surrounding Israel and protecting them. Protect their prime minister, Lord. And um, we do pray for the Behold Israel ministry. We pray for Amir Sarfati. Um, that you undertake for them and that you give your servants rest as they need it, Lord, even through the turmoil. In Jesus' name, amen.